All right, everybody, here we go with a multiplayer round. Thanks for watching. We'll see what we get today. As always, my goal is a thousand rated or better. And hopefully, the first place. Definitely a lot better competition. More consistently lately, it seems like. So it's harder to put those streaks together. But I haven't done a whole lot of multiplayer rounds lately. So I'm excited. Um, this one, part four. I like to throw the glide skip. Usually like to throw a little tighter around that tree. Try to be a little more left of that. Take some distance off the hole. You can almost, you got good wind and get it down there close enough to the lake. You can have a shot at the, the basket. But for here, we're just gonna throw a forehand around these trees here. And hopefully get our birdie. And move on to the next one. That should work. So nice. Short little comeback putt for birdie and a good start. Not too many people are going to be getting a two on that. So you get a birdie and you're either gaining the stroke or sticking with the, the group here. Should be able to get an eagle on this one. Hopefully not the best wind. Um, definitely don't want to cut the corner because I might hit that fence. So I just want to keep it left of the fence. This is definitely left of the fence but a little more left than I'd like, but we got lucky getting past that rock. Got a nice big skip, so it'll work. Here, a little longer to the basket. I almost went glide turn there, but I think we can get there with the, the glide skip drive and get us a nice skip up towards the basket, hopefully. Definitely got the distance. Bush is probably gonna slow it down, but that should, that'll work. Kind of an uphill putt. We got 57 feet. Probably play more like 65 or so. Oh, and I left it short. Well, just gave away a stroke there. Bummer. Should be three under after two, but we're down two. So we got advanced. Pro with a good reading. Wreck. So you never know. I like to look at the competition. Just give me an idea of what I'm up against, but... Definitely you never know just by the reading. This one I like to go glide roll. Just try to judge the wind just right to, to go right at the basket. If anything, a little left of the basket is better, especially now with that that barrier on the sides is a little higher, so you just don't want to miss right because it's hard to come back inbounds. But anytime you can get a birdie on this hole is a win, and you're usually gaining a stroke on at least a few of the people. Here, we just want to make sure we get there with that wind. Definitely going to throw the ride. I want to stay right of the basket because the left is all the trouble. And this is looking really good. Stop right there. Perfect. So it puts us at five under after four. And looks like we're pulling away from everyone. Hopefully this one I like to go Worship, worship, and hopefully throw it in. If you've seen my videos, I'm slowly making videos for all the courses on how to either ace or eagle, depending on the hole. And this one, if you've seen that video, I like to go worship, worship. It's, it's almost impossible to get to that far island in one shot unless the wind is perfect and you hit it just right. So I don't even, even oh, get there. That was just short. I don't even bother, I just do worship, worship, and I'm pretty much the same distance away on that, that approach shot, so getting pretty good at it. This one, the worship is the key to this hole. If you have this disc, it's definitely, you can pretty much get on that island almost every time. Come on, go, and you can do that, yes. So we made up that shot we gave earlier. But yeah, definitely if you got the Warship and you have that hole, I highly recommend it compared to some of the other discs. I used to throw the Fuse with a Tailwind and a River or anything else, but now I just go the Warship and it's a lifesaver on that difficult hole. This one we got the Headwind, so there's no way we're making it far enough to, to go for the Long Island in two. So we got kind of stuck under the Cabana, but we're just going to keep it low, throw the Rive, Glide Roll. And just try to get it up there and have a look at look at the basket. Ever since the update, you can definitely go for this basket a little more aggressively. Um, there's more around it to kind of stop the disc. 
And I'm just going to throw the beast. This probably doesn't have enough distance, but it should be up there next to it. No, stay right, stay right. Ooh, ooh. Oh, man. Got lucky. That's the one thing you don't want to do is go left. Because then you're going to slide down and you're pretty much ruin your shot at birdie. So got away with that one. This hole, I do the ride forehand, the glide roll ride, my favorite. Oh, I don't like this wind though. Hopefully we can still get it down there. Dang, not enough anhyzer and it's gonna be short. It's gonna be a tricky putt because we're going downhill and we got a strong headwind. So you gotta adjust, it's gonna lift it up, but it's going downhill. stable all right we got that one definitely not easy i would have liked a closer putt on that hole but got a solid round of 10 under going this one the smart play is going left and we still have a chance at throwing it in but i like to take a little risk here and do glide skip forehand through this little gap of trees here hope for a big skip up there oh man with a good wind and a good ski, if you can get there from 150 or less and have a good good look at the basket. But here, you just don't want to leave this short. Long is okay, but short is bad. Go, go, go. Oh, man. Dang, I wish I would have made that one. So that's two shots I feel like I could have done better on this, or I could have made. But still, solid round. Should be above 1,000. Let's see, 1100, so good round there. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Let me know if you have any ideas for videos, but we'll see you next time.